こんにちは。私の名前はハクです。さて、この話は私の人生が得た方法については、逆さまになって反転するてです。そして私は説明したいと思います。すぐそこに座っている。私はベルエと呼ばれる町の王子になったか、私はあなたを教えてあげましょう。Previously on the Naruto Spoof Yada 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 Show. Well, students, it's been a good ride, but I'm afraid I have to leave. There's just too much going on in my personal life. I wanted to say this to your faces because you're awesome like that. So, farewell. Bowie Sensei! You can't leave! We need you! Who else is going to provide all the voices of reason? Come back, Bowie Sensei! Come back! He was like the Sasuke's father I never had because Sasuke's brother killed him. No! <laughs> I just had a dream that I wasn't David Bowie and I was training a group of retarded ninjas. Check it out, Bowie Sensei! I can fart the alphabet! A, B, C, D, E, F, G! Well, at least I'm still David Bowie. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P! Are you alright, David Bowie, cook kitty face? I've suffered severe trauma at the hands of my opponent, but it's nothing a few filler episodes won't fix. No, the real problem is if Zabaza's still alive. And if that's the case, then we must all be ready for when he returns. Sounds good, Bowie Sensei, but I do have one question! What is it, Naruto? What the hell is a Zabaza? What are you people doing? In my house! Uh, give it to me straight, Haku. Did I look like a pussy ass back there? Hi. Yes, hi, Haku. Look, I understand if you don't want to tell me, but I don't mind, really. I can take it. I'm a big boy. Hi. Hello, Haku. Yes, if this is your way of saying I look like a pussy ass, you're being kind of a bitch about it. Hi. Yeah, hi, Haku. Fucking moon speak. This is my grandson. We call him Gilligan. That is extremely amusing because it is a reference to a TV show in which a main character wears a hat. I like stroking him. You guys are never gonna save our village. Don't worry, Gilligan, who has a funny name, Chan. With the help of David Bowie, Sasuke, and that other guy, I'll be able to save your village in no time. Believe it. I don't believe it. Kill the non-believer. No, oh, just must destroy him. Today, students, I will be teaching you about ninja midi chlorine. Also known as Chakra. Katra! Sakura, since you're the expert on superfluous dialogue, would you do me the honor of teaching us all about Chakra? Katra! It all started when a group of ninjas set themselves on fire for no reason. Then a naked man cut off his own junk and grew red hair all over his chest. Then the three ninjas who had somehow survived their third degree burns decided to take part in the Olympics, forcing Pepsi to redesign their company logo. This caused the naked man to shave his chest and get a tattoo. And that is how we discovered Chakra. Katra! Thank you, Sakura. It seems your former sensei taught you well. And then the ice sculpture came crashing down on top of my face. And that is how I got my sexy nose scar. Does that answer your question, Shikamaru? I didn't ask anything. Shikamaru is a funny name. Hey, ho, Shika Shikamaru, Shika Shikamaru, I love you. Ho, ho, Shika Shikamaru, Shika Shikamaru. Now I'm going to teach you all how to climb a tree. Only then will you be prepared to fight Zabuza. Sensei, may I be excused on account of this lesson being total bullcrap? No, you're all doing this. Except Sakura, because we all know she could never accomplish anything. Hey guys, I climbed the tree already. Sakura is disqualified. What? Why? I hadn't said go yet. Cheater! Okay, go. A tree! Naruto! Sasuke! Sal! Back to the tree! I've got a knife! The tree again! Game look! Fucking strawer! Tree! <laughs> That was Japanese for ouch. Hey, little boy, what do you think of my bridge? Well, it's only half finished. You skipped over a bunch of really important parts, and right at the end there, there's just a t-shirt booth. I'm going to call it the Naruto Bridge. Sounds appropriate. Hey, Tazuna, I told my girlfriend that she could work on the bridge, too. That doesn't seem like a very good idea. Oh, she'll be fine. Son of a bitch! <laughs> 
You're doing great, honey. You just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it if it doesn't line up properly. You know, no one will notice. They're all idiots. This kind of seems like a disaster waiting to happen. If you think this is bad, you should see the Pokemon Bridge. Nobody will ever understand the food I taste. The food that tastes like regret and noodles. Just like the taste in my mouth when Sasuke's brother ruined my life. For some reason, there were noodles involved. It was weird. So, does anybody have any good stories to tell while we eat? I do! Yay! I love stories! This is the story about how my grandson nearly drowned, and then his stepfather was brutally murdered in front of the entire village. Yay! I hate happy endings. So cliché. This puppy is a witch! How do you know? Check this out. See? Totally a witch! What the fuck?! Somebody help that poor puppy! That sounds like witch talk to me! Fortunately, Gilligan was saved by a character from another abridged series making a hilarious cameo! Excuse me, mister? Have you seen a puppy around here? Hell yes I did! And you can bet your ass he tasted great! You're scary. Kids, you don't even know the half of it! What happened to those other kids? They also tasted great! Huh? Hungry? The two of them became inseparable. And then, one fateful day, the man was given the chance to save our village. No, oh, the village is in danger! We need your help! Gilligan, fetch me my earplugs! I've got some short-distance swimming to do! Yes! Eat it, Poseidon! I've played your game before! Now, how is this supposed to stop us all from starving to death? Then, the evil and corrupted Gatto chose to make an example of the man. You people may think that I am without mercy, but I do believe in second chances. Watch. If you don't want to be crucified, raise your hand. Well, can't say I didn't try. Father! Son, don't cry, for they can take away my life. But they can never take away my freedom! Now my freedom! And so, Gilligan was left all alone in the world, with nobody to love him. Wait, what about you? With nobody to love him. <laughs> the old man's story has taught me a valuable lesson, and it is that we should not complain about Masako leaving, because we should be grateful for everything that he has done for us, and respect his decision to move on with his life. Why are you on the floor? I'm waiting for Sasuke to fuck me! The trouble with the ninjas and they're quite convinced they are right They say their sensei's David Bowie And he is teaching them to fight Do 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 This show fucking sucks Fucking sucks! I already said that Yeah, I just wanna thank my girlfriend Because this bridge is absolutely hysterical And uh... You know, yeah, thank you, sweetie uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my life is a lie. <laughs>